Pennsylvania native Eric Seidner is studying to get an MBA at his top choice school. The 33-year-old entrepreneur thought of applying to an Ivy League, but instead chose to take classes here in an up-and-coming program in China. A lot of energy is happening in the Chinese markets, and a lot of the big-name companies, the MNCs, are setting up their bases here. With the U.S. market depressed, more Americans are looking for jobs outside the country. China is a popular place for students like Seidner and fellow American classmate Denise Pu, who both want to get closer to a burgeoning market. She turned down a spot at Columbia University in New York to study at this China-based international business school, a degree the Californian banker hopes will give her a leg up if she stays here or returns to the evolving marketplace back home. I started to realize, hey, most of my clients are Chinese. Most of my business clients are also Chinese businesses,、uh, either coming to expand their business in、uh, in California or American companies that want to go to China to expand their business there. The number of MBA programs here has skyrocketed from six two decades ago to nearly 250 today, with some programs almost half full of students from overseas. School officials admit that the starting salaries of their graduates are lower than those from American schools, but they say their programs offer something that money just can't buy: real-world China experience. Learning with my Chinese classmates,、uh, speaking Mandarin. I've also gone to a couple of interviews with、uh, some local banks, and I had to be interviewed in Chinese. And I think that's just—it's、uh, it, not the kind of experience that I, I would have gotten in, back in the States. Seidner is optimistic about how the networking will help build his career. Whether I decide to stay here and work in China, or go back to the United States and work for a company in a way that would allow me to liaise between China and America, I think there's opportunities for both. But for now, to these students, China is the better bet to get an education and make money. Yunus Yun, CNN, Beijing.